You see who's fluttering around up there? It is my very first zebra longwing raised in an enclosure 2023. That's pretty cool. And look, oh, there it is. And look at this gorgeous zinnia that just happens to be growing in the pot with the milkweed. You can also see there is a monarch caterpillar getting ready to pupate and jay hang. And the chrysalis back there. Oh, it just came out. We'll let it fly around in here for a little bit. Because there's something else in this enclosure that I want to show you. Sitting down back is a pot of a butterfly pea plant that I grew from seed. And there is a caterpillar on it somewhere for a long-tailed skipper. So I'm going to carefully pick the plant up. Did you see the um, chrysalis move when I hold the plant by it? This is another zebra longwing chrysalis. There's this very cool little bug on the leaf and it's just been hanging out on this leaf. So it must be eating the plant. But then over here, the um, long-tailed skippers, they are leaf curlers too. But I actually saw a caterpillar. Look. That is a long-tailed skipper caterpillar. And this is its host plant, the butterfly pea. And so I might actually get to raise one because every other time I brought them in, they disappear when I've tried cuttings. But this plant was in a pot, so I didn't even have to relocate it or anything. I just brought the whole pot in. Y'all, every time I release an Eastern Black Swallowtail, I tell it, you know, bring me some eggs. One of them listened. I have more eggs. I'm so excited. Got my trimmers ready. Gonna go take some cuttings. They're right back here on this bronze fennel. And that's perfect timing because I literally just unboxed my order from Joyful Butterfly with additional bronze fennel and sweet fennel to feed these guys. I love it when things work out like that. So here's my bronze fennel, and here, there's two eggs there, and there's an egg there, and one down there. Um, I don't see any more right now, but I will keep checking. I'll take four though. I'll be happy with four. Okay. The cuttings are all in. I did find a couple more eggs. I, I didn't count how many I have because I don't know. I'm just not a counter of things. But you can see there's two right there. Also, uh, so I put them in, like I had to set up another enclosure in here. I don't know if I told you that. So they're in here with my tiger swallowtails, which is appropriate. And my tiger swallow tails are on the wafer ash. But I want to show you this little guy right here. There's two green ones on here. Um, and we haven't pupated yet, so we're just being adorable. There's another one back here. This is the big one. It's so cute. 
sticking out of its little leaf home. So yeah, I went out in my garden and I looked one more time and I found about twice as many eggs as I had originally or double. So, I, you know, I've got double the amount I first brought in. How did I not see all those eggs <laughs> the first time? I don't know. So then... I went down to the other end of the garden to look for um, giant swallowtail eggs, and I found one. And then right beside that is a Bahamasana, and right in front of my face, literally, was this guy. Look how big he is! So, of course, we're coming in so we can ensure getting the chance to be a butterfly. Look how big, how gorgeous. This is a sulfur caterpillar. You guys look, this is the um, leaf I brought in that had the ladybug eggs on it. And you can see they all hatched. And there is a monarch caterpillar there too. Um, all the little ladybug larvae I left on the other cutting and put out in the garden so they can go do their thing. And here's my little queen. This is the one I watched the queen lay this egg and I immediately brought it in. And it Hey y'all, it's Saturday morning and I love coming out to find this waiting for me. This is my very first giant swallowtail that I'll be releasing this year, I think. Is it? Yeah. It's June. I feel like last year I had them earlier than that, but I could be wrong. Let's see if, let's see if they'll let us get closer and then I will do, I will release them. Oh my gosh, they're gorgeous. Hello, beautiful. That's the giant. And this is the Eastern Black Swallowtail with a lot of blue. So female. Okay, so I just got some better lighting going up so we can really get a good look at these guys with some good light. And maybe this little one will open her wings again. There we go. Lots of blue. Yeah, I just came home from dinner, and I knew there was one zebra longling in here, but there were three. I just released two, and this is the third one, and I thought, you know what? I better hurry up and get some video of it for you. Oh my gosh, it's so exciting, and look who's hanging right here in front of me. And of course, there's tree trimmers in the neighborhood, so you get to hear tree trimmer saws going on. y'all good morning it's sunday and i ordered something and i'm gonna show you what it is okay so you know how i love the little liatris bulbs that i bought well I thought, well, what other bulbs are there that are like one and done that I can just add some more pops of color in my garden? I've already got the zinnias and the cosmos. So I thought, you know, I watch um, Garden Answer and she's always talking about dahlias. 
and ranunculus. Did I get ranunculus? I don't recall. So I ordered some dahlia bulbs and I'm just gonna put them in pots and see what they do. It says they're good through zone 10 and I'm 9B. So let's see what they're like and try them out. I'm kind of excited. And the color I bought, oh my gosh, it's so incredible. It is like that pinky orange corally color of a sunset. It's just like a really, really excellent hot summer color. So let's go see. Okay, oh, I did get some ranunculus. Ranunculus bulbs, red. Dahlia Bell of Barmera. Here's another one. I guess I got two of those. I must have really liked them. These must be those corally orange ones. Like as soon as I saw them, I tapped in the cart. In the cart. And, well, I don't know because these are totally tangerine. I think the other ones that are. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out when they come up. And, yeah. So I got two totally tangerines and two... Be what was it? Bell of Barmera. All right. So I happen to have some pots here ready to go because looky, looky, I put some old seeds, old seeds. Just, you know, see if they're still good. And clearly they've been sitting out here for a couple weeks and nothing's happening. So well, this is fabulous because now I have these pots with soil ready to go and I just stick these bulbs in and we'll see what they do. Oh, and I got these from Eden Brothers. I do not have an affiliate with them or anything, but I do love ordering stuff from them. I should go on and see if they offer an affiliate thing. I'll put that on my to-do list. So here's one of the Bell of Barmera. And it's, there's a lot to it. So I think I'm just going to do one per pot. I think there were two of each. So I have eight. So I'll probably have eight pots out here. Or close enough. I can always get more. All right. I'm going to put these guys in there. And then we'll keep an eye on them and see how they grow. All right. There's one. Okay, I'm excited. These are going to be gorgeous. I hope they grow and I hope nothing comes and digs out the bulbs and eats them. No sneaky snacking on my dahlias. Y'all, here's a little sneak peek. Yeah, the polydomus is back. I'm not going to get excited. But it is over there, flying in the general vicinity of my Wooly Dutchman's Pipe Vine. Y'all, do you see what I see? There are eight. Oh my gosh, this is my Wooly Dutchman's Pipe Vine, and I have polydomus eggs. You know how happy this makes me. Oh my gosh. 
I think I'll bring them in. <laughs> Y'all look, one of my Eastern Tiger Swallowtail Caterpillars is molting. He's getting rid of the brown and going full green. I just happen to be out here getting fresh cuttings for them. Nature is fabulous. Okay, I'm gonna let him go dry off. Leave him alone. Oh, look, he <laughs> does a little tail flick. Get it off of him. <laughs> now he's working on this face cap. He'll rub this face back and forth and knock it off. There he did. Good job, baby. What a good little molter. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad I got this so I could share it with you guys. That's incredible. I had to come inside from outside. My feet were burning. I was standing on on my paver patio. It's hot. Okay, looks like he's just going to settle in now. Enjoy his new his new look, his makeover. It's beautiful.